Coming up next, a behind-the-scenes look at American Heritage School, fashion, math, and robotics. Hi, this is my lovely classroom. These are my amazing students. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Kosi, she is a fashion design student. She's working on her project where she's revamping our heritage uniforms into something that she would actually love to wear if we could, but they won't be able to. And this is where we have our fashion design section over here. It's very clean. It's not normally this clean. And then over here is our ceramics area. And these are all my ceramic students. Say hi. You all sound dead. Say it again. Hi. There you go. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, th thank you and welcome back. Of course, it's Chris Cruz. We've got Kelly Gannon. We're here at American Heritage making pottery. What are you making? Making a pinch pot. A pinch pot? A pinch pot. Oh, I thought you said something else, but how does how do you do that? Um, you wedge your clay so you get out the air bubbles and then you form a ball and out of that you can create a pinch pot. You know, last time I saw that was in Ghost with Patrick Swayze. It was it's awesome. It's a different kind of scene where, it, where there are high school students. No, but the, uh, well, this fashion and design and pottery. Such a good idea. No, but the song was a great song, Righteous it Brothers. Song. Uh, nobody's faulting you on the song. American Heritage, thank you so much for stopping. We got the fashion. We're going to learn a little bit more, and we're going to... Uh, we're going to talk some robotics and some science, and I think we've got a bunch of other fun stuff coming up. So, right. Stay tuned. All happens right here on Good Morning Polka. We are going... I don't know where we're going. Do you know where we're going? We're going to math. Oh, ma oh here. Chris needs I'm to be in charge then. I am not good at math. I'm not. Two plus two is what? Right. Yeah, something with, like, my kids came home talking about, like, mixed fractions and decimal. I was I was out. Like, there was... I can out, bro. <laughs> what about trigonometry? Can you spell that? <laughs> This is our um, Algebra 2 competition class, which is actually a special class with really talented students, some of our best students, uh, math students, um, that taking Algebra 2. Uh, there are other great students. We have four other Algebra 2 classes, but this is a concentrated class where we accelerate the curriculum um, through the year, and we try and cover uh, as much as the curriculum as we can in the first um, half of the year or the first three quarters that we can, that we can possibly do and what they're doing is they're really prepping for competitions in mu alpha theta in the florida math league um, and in um, the american mathematics uh, competitions which are coming up and then there's a national um, competition that this year is in buffalo and we're going to invite all the students here that are competitive that can prove that they're competitive to go to buffalo all right we'd like to give kelly a problem Kelly is a problem. All right. Well, <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> All right. Somebody's giving something I can solve. Anybody? Nobody? Somebody has to have a basic something. 3x plus 2. Wait a 3x plus 2. Okay. <laughs> Equals 8. All right. Hang on. So when he puts a number, wait a minute. Hang on. I think I can, I have to. I've got to subtract from both sides, is that right? Yes. All right. So, oh, wait, I can do this one. This is good. Hang on. Ha, huh, wait. X equals two. Correct. Yes. Yeah. All right. Don't do anything harder than that. That was all nice, simple numbers. So. Well, thank you guys so much for having us and letting us bust into your class. We appreciate it. So, Chris and I hope that you check us out on Good Morning Boca when you get to see all of uh, the campus highlighted and you guys as well. So, thank you again. Hi. Hi. We're, We're in the American, American Heritage, Heritage Robotics, Robotics Lab, Lab and you're, you're watching, watching We Boca TV. Coming up next, a behind-the-scenes look at American Heritage School Robotics. Hi, uh, my name is Ty Donovan. I run the robotics program here at American Heritage. I wanted to welcome you to our lab. As you can see around the lab, we have a number of students uh, working on various projects uh, in different stages of completion. Uh, we're currently working on our 2017 competition season, so we have a number of specific tasks. They are 
trying to accomplish. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chris Cruz. We're here at the Robotics uh, Center at American Heritage in Boca. Um, so you guys are building some some very interesting things over here, and apparently this shoots stuff out. What does it shoot? This actually shoots out um, five inch diameter wiffle balls. Um, there's going to be up to 400 on a field. So our robot has to collect as many as possible and then shoot them out into a boiler um, to collect points. It's actually pretty cool. Does it run on gas or is it battery operated? What's the deal? Big 12 volt batteries, like a car battery, but a little bit smaller um, and it's all electrical. How long does something like that run for before it dies out? The matches are two and a half minutes long, but we can do demonstrations with these robots for 30, 45 minutes. It's kind of like the, that, what is that show, like Robot Wars, where they kind of go in at each other? Are any of them like, like kind of like that? Is that something like that over there? We have the capabilities. Um, they just want to put sharp objects on it. It's quite expensive uh, to keep destroying robots. Uh, that one over there is actually for contact. Um, we have bumpers, so we don't make the hits as hard as possible. Um, but we, we aren't allowed to destroy other robots. There's going to be no destroying here. Once again, the Robotic Center at American Heritage. Guys, thank you so much. Maybe they'll build like a spaceship one day. We'll have to find out in a few years. Well, as you can see right here, uh, part of our competition is to collect and shoot objects. Uh, so the students right in front of me are working on a geared shooting mechanism. Uh, so this is actually a, a second or third generation of their prototype. They'll be completing this uh, for our upcoming competition in West Palm Beach, Orlando, and Waco, Texas. So do you guys, do, you, do they get to keep these things? Like, um... Well, these projects actually, uh, it's a culmination of all the work that all the students do. Yeah. So th these uh, robots will actually remain here. Uh, we keep all of our past competition robots really to show a progression of where we started and where we've How come. You know? uh, we've gotten increasingly more complex. Uh, we're using a lot more uh, solenoids, a lot more sensors, uh, different drivetrains, different motors, different ways of uh, getting input and uh, you know transporting that into the output of the machine. So. How, how long does it take to build something like this? Uh, maybe on a smaller level. I see you have some bigger ones. Well that's the thing. For these uh, competitions, the one that's upcoming, we actually have a six-week time frame. Oh, wow. So uh, no matter how long it takes, we only have six weeks. <laughs> uh, so we dedicate two weeks to the prototyping phase and that's where we really try to get the idea of what it's going to be. Another two weeks to get a finished project and then we'll take two weeks to uh, run through the programming, testing phase, getting bugs out, the kinks out, and then we'll rework and retool any parts if we need to. So the students are they, they're in the class for the, the year or is it kind of like a half year thing? Well it's actually a full year-long class. I have two levels. We have uh, an introduction to Robotics 1 honors class and we have a robotics 2 class, it's, uh, both honors classes. Um, they start out uh, the first class, they'll get an introduction to uh, using the CNC machine, 3D printing, CADing, um, and a lot of the electrical components uh, that we use, the different software, and then we transfer that into the next class and it's more focused on the big stuff. You guys like this stuff or what? Yeah, what do you love most about it? Um, I love the collaboration that I get to experience with other people because people get just as excited as you do about stuff that's kind of geeky but also really cool and interesting and you know just like as high schoolers and stuff we can say that we built a robot and most people can't say that so I think that's I really think cool. You should build like a robot with a microphone and a camera. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like a new cool robot. Just put it on the list. Next build season. <laughs>